Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to look at what's new in the latest beta channel inside a preview build that rolled out late on Friday last week, which is build 22635.4510, and that was made available with the latest update to the beta channel KB5046716. Now, first of all, we get a couple of new improvements, which are worth mentioning for this video. Where first of all, Microsoft says they are rolling out the ability to share files directly from the jump lists on the taskbar, which appears when you right click on an app with a jump list, which I think is a nice little move in the right direction if you are using jump lists and doing a lot of sharing. And then after pulling this feature, the next feature, um, they begin to roll out the new gamepad keyboard once again. Um, which is the new layout for the on-screen keyboard for Windows 11 users that began rolling out to Windows insiders in the beta channel with a previous build. And this actually started making its way into stable. And as I posted, Microsoft pulled it. And I may leave that video linked down below and in the end screen um, if you'd like some more information um, regarding Microsoft pulling this feature. And now they are reintroducing it once again. And it's been slowly trickling down in the insider program. So I'm sure in the next update or two in the stable version, this will start making its way back into the stable. And then quick, if we just head over to our settings, accessibility, narrator. Narrator getting quite a lot of attention in preview and also in the stable version where Microsoft say they have added new functionalities to Narrator scan mode. So skip past links N allows you to navigate to the text after a link. And they say that this is most helpful when navigating through long emails, news articles and wiki pages. And jump to lists L allows you to quickly access a list on a web page or a document. And then while we are talking about Narrator and so on, They've also improved speech to text and text to speech on Windows and users of narrator, voice access, live captions, live translations, and voice typing might see a message asking them to update their language files manually. And the language files will be released separately through the Microsoft Store. And that's also rolling out in our next optional update to the stable version as well, as far as I can remember. And then we've got one fix where they fixed an issue where you might unexpectedly see a message saying you're offline widgets are unavailable so if you are running widgets and that's just a niggly issue in the beta channel and that's it guys that's more or less what's new and for the first time in quite a long time we don't get any known issues which is good news so things are quite stable even though it's still in preview in the beta channel for last week and as mentioned that's what's new with build 22635.4510 and that rolled out on Friday last week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.